my little Stewies. It's your friend Stewie friend here here to bring you another video. Guys, uh, two things. Uh, first, I want to know what you guys think of that new intro now that, uh, now that that won the vote. And two, this is 60 seconds. Um, you guys didn't really suggest this challenge, but I just feel like anybody who plays 60 seconds needs to try this challenge. So, what I'm going to do is do the Ted Only Challenge. Now, I don't know how good that's going to go. Last video, I got saved with just, uh, I think it was Dolores and Timmy. And that was hard enough. So, think about just Ted. I have no idea how this is going to go. And I don't know if even I'm going to make it past day 15. I have no idea. But I'm going to try my hardest. So, let's just go to New Game. And let's go to Apocalypse. And I'm just going to keep it on uh, Fat Man. Just, just make it a little bit more interesting. Have it on normal difficulty. <sighs> so yeah, guys, this is just a small little challenge. Oh, God, that lag! Okay. So anyway, this is my house. Let's just grab all this food because I'm going to need it. Okay, run, 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 run. Let's grab that. Let's grab the map. Come on! Get some more water, I guess. Get that flashlight. Let's get out of here. Come on. We have to get out of this room! Stupid lamp. Let's grab that padlock. Let's grab the gun. Come on, you stupid lamp! Quick, 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 quick. Yes! Let the Ted Only Challenge begin! That's all I wanted. I just wanted the uh, med kit because it's just good to have. I think I have a lot of food, a lot of water. This is a good shelter. This is a good shelter. I can already tell. Sorry if my camera is a bit messed up, but you guys are mostly focused on the game. <laughs> I hope. So anyway, when the fire rains... Uh, when fire rains down from the sky, it's every man for himself. Uh, we vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for, uh, for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work out in your favor. Uh... One one bottle of water. Okay, that's good. Um, our shelves are full of cans. We eat from cans. We sleep on cans. We even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about it for some time. Time to ration supplies. Uh, no, thank you. I'm going to keep my strategy, and that is every five days. Great, he's already... Wow, really? He's already crazy? Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Ted has gone crazy. A freaking course. Without anyone to talk to, who wouldn't go crazy? Uh, no. There is nothing more surprising than a knock on a fallout shelter door. Who could it be? Should we investigate and risk our very lives. That sounds like a good idea. Shall we open the door? No. This early, he'll get sick. That binging stopped after, uh, after a while, and whoever was behind the door left. Well, hopefully they weren't any anybody friendly so I mean uh, hopefully they were somebody friendly 
so they don't come back and want to raid us. Anyway, uh, we have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Mm, I don't think so. All Ted wishes is a few drops of water. Just two more days, Ted. Just two more days, because you're the man. Day four. Still crazy as always, huh, Ted? <laughs> okay, so let's see. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Ted looks like he has one foot in the grave and needs something to drink right now. Sorry, Ted. Not right now. As we are about to start our book club discussion on the only book we, we've we all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. We were doing much worse, uh, they were doing much worse than us, and begged to uh, begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. What will we get out of it? That's, that's my question. Screw it. What did we get out of it? Did we get out of it? Did we get anything out of it? One radio! Yes! One, one bottle of water for a radio? That's that's great. That's a great trade. I'm, I'm happy for that. So our, vid our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived, a nuclear, uh, we survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful refugees. Hugs can... Hugs can kill, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue their journey and get somewhere safe before the sunset. As as they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer, so they uh, and they left, waving goodbye until they disappeared amongst the rubble. Well, thank you guys. That that was very kind, because now it's just another step towards me being saved by the military. So thank you. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Okay, well, it's day five, so... Oh, he's no longer crazy? He's no longer crazy? Yes! Okay. This day just gets better and better. So let's see. No, I am not going out, because I am afraid that he won't ever come back. It's not the best time or place to make plans- Oh wait, that's- that's notes. No thank you. Okay, day six. Great, he's crazy again. God dang it. Oh well. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should get more interested in our plans for water ro rotationing. Ted has gone crazy. Again. Well, Ted, you're not getting anything. Not, not for our next few days. Mutated rodents are attacking our supplies. We are not sure if they're rats, fur... Furrow bu uh, bunnies or what? Or just mute mutated hamsters? All of those options are pretty grim. Yeah, I gotta say. Uh, we it, we could use spare ammunition or something else to get rid of every one of these pests. Let's use the gun. Hopefully, they're good shots. Wait, there's no ammo. Okay, the gun is broken. Just great. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. I'm not cursing. Darn, our gun blew up. When we tried to shoot the thing. <laughs> 
never mind. Um, so, no, no more gun. Not until we can fix it with this Boy Scout book. I'm pretty sure that's the only way you can fix it. Uh, this morning, uh, has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Well, good. Nothing for him to need. There, there's nothing he needs, so continue. It's not- oh, nope. Day 8. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Ted should drink something soon. Two more days. Two more days, Ted. We didn't expect a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb dropped. Yet here we are. We can clearly hear the phone ringing outside it. Must be the public phone booth or other side of the street should someone go answer it. Um, screw it, sure. He's gonna get sick, but I do have a med kit, so. Oh, good, he didn't get sick. Thank God! Yes! When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the, when the call was cut short. Some, uh, something must have gone wrong on their, uh, on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Ted was safely. Uh, Ted has safely returned to his uh, from his voyage to the surface. Ted isn't acting normal. Uh, normally, sometimes he uh, his behavior is a is pretty disrupting. Who's disrupting him? Uh, who who is he disrupting? Cause his family's all dead. They're all they're all barbecue chicken. <laughs> so I mean, who who's he who's he bothering really? One more day, Ted. One more day. After all these days spent down here, uh, where? Are what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. If we can survive just a bit longer, dirty. Dirty ears shouldn't be much of a problem, just to be sure. Dibs on the gas mask. Ted is fine. Yes, I chose a good... I, I chose good. Okay, so food and water for Ted. Nope. Alright, so we have so far survived 11 days. Just four more days, and then this will prove me wrong. If I, because I said at the beginning of this video, I don't think I'll survive for longer than 15 days. So let's see if we can prove me wrong. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now, we should be more interested in our plans for water ro rotationing. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Uh. Okay, well, you know what? This this guy. This guy. Uh, we can't help this guy. Day twelve, huh? This woman says she's been. Uh, wait, what? This woman says she hunts mostly for food. Clearly, she is an uncivilized savage. Delicious soup is what decent people eat these days. We were not amused and didn't give her any anything. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disrupting. Sometimes this game makes no sense. Who's we? It's just Ted. Okay. 
The dreadful silence has become boring, and like every happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we can do about that? Anything at all? Well, listen to the radio, but... You have no family, Ted! Get that through your thick, crazy skull! You do not have a family anymore! They're barbecue chicken! They're dead! That's all I'm saying. Ah! How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Ted is really thirsty. Uh, just a few more days, okay, Ted? Just a few more days. It took us... Uh, uh, no. Uh, no, it looks like it's okay. Uh, nope. We've been sitting on our backsides here in a tiny little bunker. Uh, or we can't start thinking about getting away far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could... We could do it on our town... Wait, what? We could do it on our town. The escaping part, not the running part, of course. However, there might be someone out there with who can help us. Let, uh, let's keep our eyes and ears open. Listen to the radio. Then. What is that? It's hurting my ears. We made contact! The military is out there and they're coming for us! All we need to do is wait patiently. The soldier with a boring voice was very specific about this. Help is on the way! Yes! <laughs> we just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Every day, Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Uh-oh. Since early this morning, he has been completely committed to reading a newspaper, or rather reading that he seemed to think a newspaper our to uh, toilet tissue. What? Okay, uh... He seemed very interested in it, so we didn't want to drag him away from his reading. He had... Uh, uh, he had to answer a call of nature, but then he accidentally reached for the map. Uh... Map. Surface to say. What? I, I don't know if I read any of that correctly. Um, it's un, uh, un unusable now. Okay, absolutely unusable. However, Ted didn't seem to be very bothered by it. And when we tried to make him realize what he had done and take back the toilet paper. He just muttered that he might lend it to us when he's finished. He's gotten really crazy. I feel bad for him. So we have no more map. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave and he needs to drink something right now. One more day, Ted. We now we know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else made it to this made it to safety. A radio could help us with this. Listen. Hopefully Ted doesn't break it. Good. Ted didn't break it. Thank God. That's salvageable. Come on. That's that's. A little bit of tape doesn't hurt anything, really. Okay, uh... We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency 
a announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Oh, it's day 15. I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, so it seems like he has survived. Um, we're good for, an, for another few days, so I mean, let's not go and scavenge just yet. We're not big fans of our strange-smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we'd prefer the nothing-is-on-fire scent. <laughs> it had before a fire. Oh, it had before. A fire! We need to put that, uh, put it out and save our supplies. We don't have time to save them all. What do we save? Oh no, this is all three, come, oh come on! Can't you just let it out? Just stomp on it! How'd a fire even start? Ted! Ted! Ted, what did you do? Ted! Ted, don't look at me like that! Don't tell me that it's your sock pucket, uh, puppet! Because I know it's you. You started that fire. You're freaking crazy, Ted. You're, you're gonna kill us. <laughs> Look at me. I'm talking to a freaking video game character and talking into a camera. <laughs> I should be the one crazy. <laughs> Let me move this. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Save that. Because... We need to know what we need to do, so... Dang it! How is it our... our... I don't even understand. We need our uh, source of information. We went to the radio first and were able to grab it before it was engulfed by flames. Unfortunately, our other supplies weren't so lucky. We need to evaluate our losses. Minus one scout book and minus one med kit. That kind of sucks. I wish that they didn't have it all like that because that those, all three of these things are very important. Scout book fixes things. Med kit helps you, like, get help from sickness and the radio is, like, one of the main sources that you need to survive so I mean that's that's just hard this morning has been very comforted he's uh, in and he's doing just fine well good since you started that fire you don't get any food today Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disrupting. Day 17. No, not yet. No. Don't have anything. Sorry, bud. Day 18. We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but that has gone... But that was none of our business. Okay, uh, if ever was a time to get used to life being disappointing, the end of the world would probably be it. Ted should drink something soon. Just two more days, okay, Ted? Two more days. Young woman, uh, young woman dressed in a white, knocked, dressed in white, knocked on our door today, telling us a story of her missing twin brother, who was most probably held captive in a bandit camp. He tried to defeat the big bandit leader, um, and his sister fears some that something might have happened to him. He claims to know that 
we're good and trustworthy people and believes that we can help her rescue her sibling. Uh, if, if we do, she says it might be a beginning of a solid friendship. Well, friendship is always good in the end of the world because then you have a team. So that's good. I'm, I'm gonna let them go. So hopefully he'll lock up. I hope he locks up. Did he shoot? Did he shoot something? Never let crazy Ted with a gun. I have a feeling that sibling's dead. The woman quickly grabbed the group of friends and we set out for a for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of a of some antenna next to the fence, trying to escape. In his duel with the bandit leader, he had lost a hand. Ooh, man. But Okay. <laughs> In his duel with a bandit leader, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended to his injuries, and he'll be just fine. The sibling thanked uh, the siblings thanked us a, a, a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Thank God. Okay, there isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. Good. What's that sound? Oh no, something or some or someone is below us. It's only reasonable to go and check it out. Um... Not using that manhole in the corner. Better not get sick, better not die. What the heck was that? If we didn't have a flashlight, he'd probably be a meal for for something that was oh wait. We'd probably be a meal for for something that was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes looked very reptilian, very vicious, and very, very hungry. Was that a dinosaur? They've been extinct. Ted, you're crazy. Ted seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to sh a crappy place. Food and water for you! 20 days. He survived for 20 days. The more we know about what's going on outside, the better for us. Uh, let's gather around the radio and see what if we can tune into a situation. We were able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to a very en energetic uh, and lively speaker. He seemed well informed and mentioned a few helpful tips that should make it easier for us to survive the next expen. Expansion? I don't know if I read that right. Um, Ted tries to hide it, but is obviously... But it's obvious. He has a lot of issues. He often has... Uh, what? He often has... Lengthy... Lengthy... Conversations with, a, with his sock puppet.
I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I am back. I took a little bit of a, maybe an hour break. But anyway, I am back, and I am going to continue on with the tent challenge. Let's get all comfortable, because this is going to last a while. It's already been 30 minutes. So. Fond memories are one thing, but we need to be ready uh, for harsh reality that awaits us. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Stay 22, so I'm not giving them any food. <clears throat> Day 23. We're trying our best to remain calm. The, situa the situation where in is far from normal and we might never get used to it we hope the help comes soon all ted wishes for is a few drops of water sorry ted not for a few more days shine your boots and host the flag and hoist the flag the army is on the radio again they they're telling us to get our flashlight ready and signal the aircraft. It'll be flying over our area later this evening. If they see our light, they'll know where where to look for us. Freaking do it! Day 24. Uh, everything is go was going as planned. Uh-oh. Something went wrong. But then the flashlight stopped working. God dang it! We were lucky to get it fixed. Yes! Just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engine. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Yes! Let's see if they get back to us. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Sorry, Ted. Wait one more day. Oh, no! Come on! I really wish I had that checkerboard right now. God dang it! I really want that axe. Ammo for a padlock. Sorry, no deal. Because that, that I feel like can save us with a raid. Day 25. Despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, useless and not, we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. It, it, for the better. What? It's probably for the best. He did look quite untrustworthy. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Okay, you can finally have a drink, okay, Ted? Our supplies are scarce. I... Uh, we're pretty sure there's a small group of survivors nearby, mostly old folks. Freaking do it. We're running low on stuff. Day 26. I hate doing that, but the thing is, we do need it. Plus four water! Yes! 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 <laughs> Daniel Bryan. Okay. Ted is not uh, complete. No, complaining. Complaining today. Can't read. Okay, Ted is not complaining today. Uh, at least not very much. Okay, well. We have plenty of water. Food will be a bit. Will be a bit of more of a worry. 
but we have plenty right now. Uh, we wish we could have just, we could just leave. No, not reading it, not reading it. Why is it? I almost read it, and then it just pretty much seems like I have already read it. We can take care of ourselves. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disrupting. Oh, disturbing. Have I read it wrong this whole time? I bet you guys are probably, like... Shaking the screen like, come on! Come on! Come on, Stewie, you're reading it wrong. Come on! Sorry, I caught it. I caught it. Hands up, I am an idiot sometimes. Whenever I don't read something <laughs> right, I usually blame myself, like, right whenever I catch it. So I am an idiot right now, so I am sorry. Day 28. Whew. Almost a whole month down that shelter. It's it's just... God dang. What we make of today will be our tomorrow, so let's make it right. Ted needs water to survive. Ted is pretty fatigued. The other day, we heard a quiet knock on a door, but when we opened it, it opened, we only found a suitcase at the front door. Yes, let's check in and see what's inside. Is it soup? One thing is soup. What will that do? Like, I mean, I, I guess it's another day of food, but I mean... I, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. What what can that do to help us? Time to ration supplies, huh? Um So let's see. Uh no. It's it's not day thirty yet. The end God dang it! Should have fed him. It's hard not to worry considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Ted could not resist his madness that was consuming him for, for any longer. Uh, it seems that today... Uh, it seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, Ted, what the heck? Really? Are you that stupid? You must be that stupid, Ted, to listen to a sock puppet. Uh, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and his cruel puppet that took him away from us will have lots of fun together. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or, maybe not. We held out for 30 days. Well, guys, that was the 60 seconds Ted only challenge. If you guys want me to do more challenges, just leave it down in the comments. I love this game. I want to play more of it. I want to record more of it because this game is really fun. You never know what's going to happen. So, guys, seriously, don't be afraid to leave down a comment. Who knows? I might pick one of yours. 
Anyway, guys, that's it for me. That has been 60 Seconds. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to become a little Stewie today, and uh, don't forget to check out everyone in the description. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay friendly.